Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I think it's time. It is time to let's be honest about She Hulk, the not just the finale, but the entire series. You know, this might be Marvel's most divided show or even property that they have put out, which is funny because I remember the very first thing that the MCU put out that I personally questioned or I personally did not love. It was Iron Man 3, but that was more because of story decisions, villain changing decisions, and I just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. But the first movie that I remember feeling like, wow, this is a thing that the MCU is putting out that isn't getting wildly received well. It felt like that was Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, the movie, you know? It was a combination of people not enjoying Brie Larson's performance and people feeling like the film itself, the script itself, the writing of that movie was too much about trying to have this female empowerment without truly earning it and without really making it feel organic and it felt forced. And I didn't feel that harsh about it but I definitely understood those criticisms I definitely was like okay I see what you guys are talking about even though I enjoyed the movie fine and then other properties have gotten this other shows or movies have gotten criticisms here and there the MCU is sort of been now targeted or or called the MCU or the woke CU or I just I, I've heard so many people try to say that the MCU is now going in a direction that they're all not loving uh, even after the Miss Marvel show but I think no other property no other movie no other show has gotten more hate than the She-Hulk TV show and that's very interesting because I don't know what that means. I don't know exactly why. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's overwhelming. I'm not saying that there's more hate than positive, but it does seem like if you go on YouTube, if you go on Twitter, a lot of the comments, it's almost the same that what the show is telling you. The show, whether it's because they pre-saw all of the hate and the type of comments that they were going to get, so they worked it into the story by having this intelligentsia plot where people in an online forum like website who are trashing on She-Hulk, the character, the person on the show, and saying all these things. Even there was a montage a couple episodes ago where they showed people on video saying negative things about She-Hulk. Why does she have why does there have to be another female superhero? Why this? Why that? And a lot of those comments are the exact same stuff that you got when the trailers for She-Hulk first came out. And I'm going to say this. I'm not here to argue. I'm not here to tell you or anyone who does not like the show why they are wrong. I'm not here to say that, hey, because I love the MCU or because I'm a big fan of what the MCU is doing, still doing, uh, to this day, that if anybody has an issue with it, if anybody complains about it, if anybody does not like what they see, that they should like it as well. I think it's perfectly healthy and perfectly fine for people who are not enjoying what the MCU is becoming or what they're trying to accomplish, what they're doing. It's okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just because I like it, just because somebody else likes it, does not mean that everyone has to like it. I also feel like if you don't like it, you should not shit on the people who do like it. I personally like what the show has done thus far. I like, uh, I love actually Tatiana Maslany as Jennifer Walters. I think she's great, first of all, just as an actress. I think she's great at pulling off the comedy, the humor, the breaking the fourth wall, the self-referential stuff, and her just connecting to the audience by doing that obviously it's something that people felt was fresh and new with Deadpool but the fact that She-Hulk in the comics actually did that first predates Deadpool ever doing that in the comics I like that they not only did that with her character but in this finale they went full force with the breaking of the fourth wall and that's something that at first I was like whoa is this too much is this too far are they breaking too many walls 
by having her even coming out of the Disney Plus menu screen, which is fucking wild, and then having her come into the real world, having her go up to the writers, having her go to Marvel Studios, having her demanding to talk to Kevin Feige, well, you know, Kevin, you know, she she desperately wanted to get to the bottom of why this finale was such a mess. I think that's what's key, is that for people who were complaining that these Disney Plus shows, uh, when it comes to the finale, it felt it feels too rushed, it feels too slapped together, it feels like it's action just for the sake of action, it feels like maybe they don't really have a good plan on what they want to do for the finale. I think this show addresses that. Obviously, they do. It's not even an opinion. They do address that full force with Jennifer saying that, hey, people complain that a lot of these movies and shows have the similar third act, have the similar end battle. And so that's what She-Hulk has been from day one. She-Hulk has not only just been hey, let's do a sitcom thing, or hey, let's let's do something that's more in the comedic realm. I think that they sought out to make a show that was wildly different than anything we've ever seen before. And so I appreciate what they did. I was very into what they did. And I like that Jennifer She-Hulk, this character, is the only character from the MCU that is able and capable of doing something like this. Maybe Deadpool will do something similar. Right, Deadpool in the comic books has had moments of coming out of the comic book and interacting with the writer of his comic book. And so that would be cool to see in the movie. But I think it says a lot that Jennifer did it first. I think it says a lot that uh, what they're willing to do. You know, you can't complain that the MCU is not trying new things. You can't complain that the MCU is not willing and they don't have the balls to try something new. And then they do something like this and then you complain that this is too out there or too weird. I appreciate that we're in a time where we can try different things. And I was very satisfied with not only the resolution of Abomination, who is now, he went to prison, back to prison, but he left with Wong. So I think people who were hoping that Abomination was going to be in the Thunderbolt, I think that's still a very... Uh, good possibility i love that daredevil matt murdoch and jennifer now have this opportunity to maybe make their romance take their romance the next level it might not just be a one and done hookup it might be something to where they go steady for a little while and so i am all for that and i i i probably shouldn't brush past this but jennifer asking kevin about the X-Men. When are we going to get the X-Men? That shows you how much Marvel is listening to fans, how much Marvel is keeping up with, whether it's just Twitter or YouTube or whatever us are talking about. We're asking these questions. We're getting impatient. We want more. We want this and we want that. I love that they did that. I love that Jennifer can now serve as a conduit between the audience and the Marvel people, I mean, I don't know. I thought this was very innovative. I thought this was very different. We end this show with Bruce Banner, Hulk, coming back and announcing that he has his son, Scar. And I I had a feeling that that's what was going on as far as Hulk having to leave World and go to that planet. And I had a feeling he was going to find out he had a son. It's very interesting on how they decided to show us this. Right? I mean, I thought this would be a whole big thing. I thought this would be a whole thing of, like, we would have to see Hulk go to the planet, find his son. And his son would be full of rage and hard to control. And that's why they got him, because they were like, hey, your son's fucking wrecking shit. And you need to do something. Now, we can still get there. We haven't officially really met his son and... and seen how he is i was hoping he would have the long hair and whatnot but again it's it's i love that they're using other movies or shows to further hulk further bruce banner's uh character arc and journey and storylines that they haven't been able to do in a standalone movie for the character i should not go without mentioning the very beginning of this episode the finale where i guess it's inside the mind of jennifer as she's in the prison cell and and they do a full parody almost reenactment of the 70s show where it's jennifer acting as the bill bigsby david banner 
from the TV show Hulk. And I just, I love how much love and care. And you can just tell that they loved it. That they love to be able to pay homage to old school Hulk stuff and, and not pretend like that doesn't exist and and they're willing to go full force. I mean, I just had a blast with the show. I did. I had fun. I enjoyed it. I've rewatched all of the episodes back just because I feel like this is something new. This is something fresh. And I hope this is season two. I hope that this is the show that we have the opportunity to use a lot of the D-list more comical level characters and heroes and just have fun with it i hope that we even do more courtroom type plots and and i think that this finale shows that you don't have to have a show with high stakes you don't have to have a world ending event how many shows and movies can we have a world ending event i like that it's different i like uh you know that basically the she hulk character represents this something different and I had fun with it. I did. I understand people if if this wasn't your jam, if this wasn't your type of sense of humor, if maybe you thought it wasn't edgy enough or maybe you thought it was too whatever. Again, comedy is subjective. It's something that I find funny, you might not find funny. And it's not like I can argue and convince you to find it funny. It's just it is what it is. But I hope that it's not more division i hope that's not more of like hey you suck or hey you're an idiot for liking something or disliking something let's just move on guys it's a fucking show i think the mcu is going to go down as the greatest franchise of all time given for how long it's going for given how many different things that they're able to produce i don't know we just got werewolf by night horror we still got black panther and phase five and six to look forward to come on people secret wars is coming anyways guys let me know in the comments below what do you think about she hulk not just the finale but the entire series was it not for you could you not get into it which is fine or did you love it as much as i did which is also fine thanks for watching like comment subscribe later Thanks.